And welcome everybody to the Utah Jazz Post Game Report. I'm your host, Addison. Along with me is Blake. And the Utah Jazz pick up a rather convincing win over the Houston Rockets, 114-99. But it certainly didn't feel like that late in the game. The Jazz got up as much as 26 in this game and let that lead go all the way to four before we pulled away and ended up winning the game by 15. But you know, that third to fourth quarter collapse without Donovan Mitchell on the floor really, you know, almost blew this game away. But luckily, the Jazz were able to, to come on and win this game. So, Brett Blake, 114.99, the Jazz win. Start the second half of the season off well. Yeah, and I, I think they did. And honestly, the first thing I want to say is the Rockets played a heck of a game. And yeah. I'm, I'm going to say that as they, they came out with a – Starting five that was pretty small ball. You had one guy in Justin Patton who actually is from my home city of Omaha. Uh, and he had 13 points. A fantastic game from Justin, especially for not getting many minutes elsewhere. Yeah. But also you had guys like Tate, Brown, Porter Jr., McLemore. Porter they all Jr., had really man. nice nights, especially Kevin Porter Jr. Like that 27. is just fantastic. 27 points. Played a great game. Also had eight assists to go along with that. Nearly had a double-double. Uh, but uh, honestly, when you have teams like that, and it's, and here's the crazy thing, uh, they still managed to get 50 rebounds in that game, the Rockets did, and they were running a small ball lineup. And that's, well, that's one of the because things. they and, had so many offensive rebounds. Exactly. So that's and that, something I've got to get to. You, you got, and I'll, I'm going to let Addison talk about this because he, he can break down offensive rebounds better than me, but like, it, it's like, holy moly, you just got to – be able to get those offensive boards. But and listen, they're just, they fall asleep. The, the Rockets in that game got 20 offensive rebounds. There is never a time that that is okay. Ever. No, I don't never. care what league you're in. I don't care if you're playing middle school basketball. You don't let 20 rebounds happen. You don't. You offensive. Don't. You cannot. Let, let me break this down. I know most people who watch our channel watch basketball, and if you watch the stream, you already saw me do this. So you guys can just click the 10 second and skip this. This is a person right here. In front of him. Box him out. Find the ball. And normally they've done a great job of that, but, like, what the heck Not tonight. Happened? Not, Not tonight. tonight Not recently. Not tonight. Not recently in this stretch. We have no. been terrible rebounding the basketball, and – uh, it's, it's simple as that. There were so many times where we just would not box out at all, and there would just be a man who was right there for the tip in for Houston. Or that, that, or there was just one play. O'Neal and Mitchell just looked at each other as the ball was bouncing, and a Rockets player came and scooped it up and scored. Like, that's what the type that? of stuff that can yeah. happen, and that's the type of stuff that led the Rockets to coming back in the game because of Jazz. And, of course, you, you do ball. have to factor in, though, that when you have small ball guys and you're playing against centers like Rudy Gobert, who are going to, I mean, obviously he's going to have a tough time guarding those guys because they're just get so the small and they can weave. That, that means nothing about get the board. That, listen, that's true. He's got to be able to, that both game. him and Derek Favors have to be able to grab the basketball when it's coming down. Like listen, that is your, that is your main job. Main job. And not saying that they don't paint. always do it. I mean, no, Gobert did yeah, have they, a double double in rebounds tonight. So I'm not saying he didn't, but there were, Countless times, and it wasn't just Gobert. I'm calling out everybody. The Jazz just had a, had a bad rebounding night. Other than that, the Jazz played good no, basketball. They played a fantastic game. You they had really Boyan Bogdanovich. They had, they had they, you know, a few turnovers in that stretch where we let Houston get back in the game. Otherwise, the turnovers were low. You know, the Jazz shot the ball relatively well. Uh, Donovan Mitchell really opened up his game. You know, something we didn't see a lot of him in the first half was Donovan Mitchell really taking it inside, driving it inside, being a force inside. And that's what we saw tonight. And Donovan Mitchell had 29 points here in this game. You know, and, and I love when he drives inside. If you guys watch our streams, you know how much I always urge him to not just jack up wild threes, right. drive inside. And then it'll open up your three-point shot. And he right. did hit two three-pointers as well today. But overall, I thought it was a good game. But listen, now I only have two things to correct. Rebound the basketball, box out, that's it. Rebound the b basketball box out and don't make stupid turnovers. That, yeah, that's and, I, like, I, and I agree with that. Good. But also, on the, there was a lot of production off of the bench. We're still waiting to see, and I have it up on the screen. Welcome, Ursan. I, obviously, Ursan Ilyasova did not have anything to see tonight, and that was expected because he has only been with the team a couple days. Well, but, when we were up 26, we probably like, would have seen him today. But I know, but then uh, they kind of choked it, so that didn't happen. 
Anyway, uh, we're still hey, waiting to see Ursan's role. I'm assuming that he's just going to kind of be one of those fallout bench guys that we put in if we're way up. I don't think so. I No, you think that he's going to be in the rotation? Yes. Okay, Absolutely. maybe he'll steal some minutes from guys like George's and uh -huh. Mieoni a little bit. Yep, but, uh, I absolutely think we'll he will see. be a part of that. I'm rotation. excited for him though. That's I am. A, it's a so great, it's a great thing for Ursan. It's a great thing for the Jazz. Listen, for his, the first close to that game got though. First close to that game got a win's a win, and I'm fine with it. Yep. And listen, I let me tell you this, Jazz Nation. I'm so excited for the second half of the season. Let's ride and let's go get that one seed in the Western Conference for playoff action. That is going to wrap it up here on the Post Game Report on the Jazz Huddle. I'm your host, Addison. Along with me is Blake. We did hope you enjoyed the uh, the uh, live stream. We did. Uh, we do hope you enjoyed the Post Game Reaction. If you did, give the video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. We do Post Game Reactions after every single Jazz game. We also go live for every single Jazz game. Do a live play-by-play -play reaction. Talk with you guys in the chat. It is a great time. So make sure to come check out one of those. Don't forget to ring that notification bell as well. And until next time, we will see you guys later.